education transforms the world uh, because the, at the heart of the, the transformation of the world is the human, is the human being. And once you educate a, you educate a human being, really, you have created an agent for the transformation of the world. Adwa <laughs> happy to have worked with Asante Africa in identifying deserving students for scholarships at both levels primary and secondary. We also identify needs to be supported by Asante Africa in providing infrastructure like constructing classrooms, laboratories, purchasing teaching and learning materials. the schools and students by visiting district offices so they tell us which school to visit. We are taking children who are in need and they want to go to school. If the children join school they find better way how to solve their problem and how to achieve their goals. They don't join bad group like Malaysia. If they, they will be educated they will find a peaceful way how to solve their problem. I want to shoot for the stars. I've seen transformation occurring in the students and children that Asante Africa Foundation serve uh, in so many ways. First, when you're taking these children from uh, their homes, we usually take very, very vulnerable children. Children who do not have um, parents or family network that can support them. But when we take them, um, the first thing that we do is to make sure that uh, we get uh, them out of that mentality of um, we are marginalized and then uh, we put them in the mainstream. Since 2009, uh, when I took charge of this program and I started uh, recruiting new students into the program, I have seen so many people changing. One, uh, these students, when we take them, uh, they do not have a definite dream. But when, when we bring them in, we, want to, we start now making them feel and live their dream and uh, start making them own their dream by defining, helping them define the dream, what, the, what is their dream uh, is. And then from there, we try to help them uh, start achieving, start uh, strategizing on how uh, to achieve that dream. Someday, I will own property. Since I started working with Asante Africa, I've been visiting some schools and I've seen what girls are facing, which has been like a challenge for them to get a proper education. First of all, at Maasai areas, you find some girls are dropping out of school because their parents are forcing them to get married while they are young. Tomorrow, 
I will meet my science teacher. If I did not uh, have education, I think life could be very, very, very hard. Mm, because I'm just trying to imagine uh, the time back when I was, the period I dropped out of school. So without education, there is no any other work for you to do except manual work. So you have to toil all the day long so that you get small amount of money to keep you moving on. So life will be very, very hard. Imagine doing all that manual work in the village so that to earn a living. And I'm also thinking that if I had no education, at this time possibly I could be a married man with two or three kids in the village there, doing a lot of nothing and just doing a lot of manual work. pata ni kwamba watoto wanasoma kwa amani na pia ongezeko la watoto limekuwepo baada ya kuona majengo yanapatikana yana mazuri na madawati vile vile mahudhurio ya watoto yamepanda na watoto wetu wanakaa kwa nafasi sasa hivi maana wakati ule watoto wengine walikuwa nakaa chini my experience at Asante Africa Foundation has been great, working with uh, new communities and uh, knowing that they like what you are doing. It has been really good and the support from the US staff helping us to uh, financially to implement our programs. I think that has been great for me. Because I've seen some wonderful results, naming those who have gone through me through my school, who have gone on to high school, and I believe they'll go to higher levels of education. As you speak, I've seen uh, Santa Africa growing from a small organization to what it is today, a big one, and I'm proud of that. I'm an, a living example here that Asante, through Asante Africa, a lot of lives are being touched. And I just want to encourage the supporters, let them have that heart that heart of changing a life, that heart of touching someone's life. Because if you touch someone's life down there, at one point when that person is out there, will always think and be grateful of you. And in the process, you have not just changed that one individual, but you have changed the whole world.